So the Lunacy Legendary Artifact arrives with the Glen's Love and Tentacles DLC and it's a legendary I am yet to cover. In my opinion though first looking at this it is stepping on the toes of that Deathless Artifact. But in actual fact which one is the better one to go with? Today guys I give you my thoughts. How's it going people my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Lunacy Artifact is exclusive to the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC and is a legendary which drops from the boss of Empowered Goron, who is located within Negon Nashai and his location and route to him will be found at the end of the video people. So the Lunacy's speciality is, doubles your shield capacity but greatly increases your shield's recharge delay. Now doubling your shield's capacity is normally something that people associate and look for within the Deathless and the variants of them. So in reality these things are quite similar in what they do. But which is the more efficient one to use? Which one actually helps your build out more? Which one should you seek out and in actual fact equip? But both double your shield capacity. But the Deathless completely takes away your health while giving you default buffs of 20 and 25% to shield recharge and delay rates. While the other doesn't take away your health but applies a nerf to your shield recharge delay. So how apparent is this recharge delay nerf applied by this Lunacy's artifact? Well let's check that out. So taking off the Lunacy with my current build, where both will be tested, the delay before actually starting to recharge the shield is exactly 6 seconds. So applying the Lunacy Artifact and doing the same, we see that the shield delay before charging is exactly 17 seconds, which is a drastic increase, roughly around a 290% increase over that 6 seconds. So keeping in mind many builds can be set up and things added to them in terms of class mods which would help with that shield delay. But as of this test right here, there is a massive massive difference and I'm not sure how much those shield delay perks would make a difference here. The question is, is the difference of having health over not having health actually worth it in terms of using this over the Deathless? Well, my answer to that is no, not in my opinion. The Deathless artifact when compared under my testing against the Lunacy, with its standard buff which is on every Deathless to shield delay and recharge rate, it's actually half of the standard time of 6 seconds before your shield starts indeed regening. So 3 seconds after your shield gets hit, it starts regening with the Deathless. Well on this build anyway, obviously separate builds numbers will differ, but comparing them both on the same build, you will see that 3 second regen delay with the Deathless changes to a 17 second regen delay, which is almost a 500% increase, probably a little more. And here in that instance that isn't good, so that is the Lunacy versus the Deathless 17 second regen delay over a 3 second regen delay within the same build. I mean 500% increase people, that is absolutely crazy. Pull it this way, on the basis of having 12k health like I do in this instance, at a rate in which your shield regens from 0 to max at a rate of about 3 to 4k shields per second, even quicker using the Deathless artifact, and within my instance having a shield max now at 44k shields, it takes my shields from roughly 0 to max in about 10 seconds. And with that in mind, using the Lunacy, you'd need at least 200% additional health for it to be a plausible option over the Deathless because you can theoretically regen your shield almost twice with the Deathless equipped before your shields even start regening with the Lunacy equipped. And that's just in my instance with my shield numbers. If you had a lower shield, you would need even more of a health increase. So for me, using the Lunacy over a Deathless just is not worth it. And I mean, put it like this, you can either have a 5 times the regen rate or a minus 5 times the regen rate with your health still in play. And considering in reality, neither artifact actually, if stripped out of rules, affect your health, which is something else we'll get into in a second. To me, the benefits of the Lunacy are nowhere near that of the Deathless. And if you do think about it, the Deathless can come in many, many different variants. And variants, it seems, are not in the Lunacy's loot pool, which is unfortunate. Now, the Lunacy for sure is a decent shield, and in reality, you could create a build around it and give yourself a ton of shields. But in my opinion, Gearbox got this right, got this artifact right, the first time with the Deathless variants. The Lunacy is a nice addition, but adding up the benefits both can indeed offer, really, they ain't even comparable. The Deathless just offers so much more, even if health is sacrificed. 
you are still getting five times the shield regen delay using the deathless over the lunacy and unless you're in reality going into a battle where your shields will be drained quite quickly and even then guys i still don't feel the lunacy would even be a better addition of our other artifacts because 17 seconds or around that number for your shield to start regening is a crazy long number and i mean they're just much 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 better artifacts in the game right now which just add to your build well, this lunacy, in my opinion, actually takes away from it. Yes, you can double up your shields. But when it comes to losing them shields and it takes 17 seconds before they even start regening, nope, not for me, people. Now, I understand this is my testing on my particular build and Vault Hunter, but I don't feel it much different in terms of other Vault Hunters out there. Talking about other Vault Hunters as well, the Deathless for me, for Moles and Flak works great because they both have skills that take advantage of being low on HP or health. I mean, off the top of my head, I don't play with these Vault Hunters, but Morse has desperate measures. And I know Flak does have a couple of uh, spirit skills, which give him a massive damage reduction at a low health. And these theoretically won't work with the Lunacy, because obviously your health is still intact. So yeah, like I said, I can't really see much benefits to this artifact on other Vault Hunters besides Zane either. Now, if the Lunacy seems like an artifact you are interested in and trying out for yourself, you'll find the location and route to the boss, which drops this on screen now. So yeah, the Lunacy or the Deathless, definitely the Deathless in my opinion. And the fact it comes with so many different variants too. And if it is an artifact you want to search out yourself, Deathless I mean, the Phoenix within the Splinterlands is your boss to go and farm this thing. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Off you go! Tossing barrier! Hey, hey, pretty sure there's a wedding present around there. Get at it!
the more fun it is to shoot him in the friggin' face! <laughs> <laughs>